Hello friends, in today's video, we're going to be seeing how we can utilize topics with SNS inside our .NET Web APIs. We're going to be seeing how we can actually send messages to a topic on SNS and how we can actually receive it within our SQS in a Web API. We're going to be going through step by step. We're going to be explaining the logic behind it and then we're going to be seeing the implementation. If you'd like to learn more about .NET, AWS or Azure, please make sure you like, share and subscribe. It will really help the channel. Now, let's jump into it. So let's explore an example where we're going to be seeing where SNS and topics will fit well into our implementation. So let's take an example right now where we have two applications that they want to communicate with each other and we want to expand this to have two different other applications that we also need to receive the same information. So I'm going to remove this information. We don't really need it right now. And I'm just going to add a couple of extra applications. So I'm just going to add this here. And let's say there's a different application, which is called, let's say, booking that we need to basically send the same request. And let's say we have another one, which is could be a Lambda function that sends email. So I'm just going to set email here. And this is a, a Lambda rather than a Web API. So it's a serverless function. So one way of for me actually to notify these services as well, I can have a HTTP request that goes directly into this function and basically notify them. But if we learn something from last time that this is not really reliable. So we don't really want to have an HTTP request going from this. And this means that for every single piece of information or any new driver that joins, I need to repeat the same process or the same logic of this a few multiple times in order for me to send the information to these three different services. So as you can see here, this will have to coordinate the call to this service, to this, sorry, to this API, this API, and this Lambda, which is not really feasible. The more the services uh, increase, the more load that the F1 application will have to do. So what else can we do? So we can do the same solution as we have done previously, where we actually have a queuing system and this will work well, but again, it also have some its limitations. So again, I can have a queue here and I'm gonna move this a bit down. So we have a bit more space. So we have a queue that's on the LQ and basically we can configure our F1 application to communicate with this queue and it will basically send it to the booking API. And again, we can have here another queue, which is gonna go for the email Lambda, and then this will communicate here. So we can see here that this queuing mechanism will also give us the same benefit as we have discussed before. But this means that our F1 driver application will need to know about these three different queues, and it will need to make sure that it's configured to communicate with three different queues. And the more integration that we have, it means the more queuing that we need to actually take into consideration. So there should be a better way where we can actually implement these types of mechanism. And there is, and this is where topics come into place. So basically a topic, we can think about it as a service that allows us to take a single piece of information and broadcast it like a radio station. Let's say we have a message and I want a lot of people to know about it. What I can do, I can just put it on the radio and a lot of people will be listening to that message where they will be able to receive it. And this is going to be the same thing here. So instead of the F1 application here, having to communicate with three different queues at the same time, what can we do? Wait, let's remove this. We can have here an SNS or we can have a topic. I'm just gonna put topic. So a topic here is basically as a radio station. And these are the subscribers to this radio station and the queues will subscribe to this radio station. So only who is subscribed or basically only the people who have the radio station on will be able to listen to that message. And this is the same concept here. So basically what I do is I can send a message to my topic. We can think about it as a radio station. And this topic will basically broadcast it to all of the different queues who are subscribed to it. So let's say I have one driver I have registered. Basically the driver here will be sent to this topic, that the message, and this message will basically be broadcasted to all. So if I take a look at a message icon or an envelope, so basically as soon as the message has left the driver service and goes to the topic, what happened then? Every single one of these queues will receive the same copy of the message because they have subscribed to this topic. If I have, for example, any other service here, let's say I'm gonna call it service number four, who does not subscribe to this topic, it will not receive the message only the functions 
or basically the queues who subscribe to the topic will be able to receive this message and this is basically it it's basically a way where i can broadcast a single message to different services and from that aspect i'm able to broadcast it rather than having to deal with all of the different integrations all of these different topics myself so let's say there's a new service that's want to actually listen to this and rather than me doing any types of changes inside my f1 driver web api what I can do is simply, I can just add a new service. I can add a subscription to this topic here. And once I add the subscription, it will be able to get every single new message that comes from the time it's subscribed, it will be able to get to it and it will be able to execute it. So for the queuing mechanism inside AWS, we utilize SQS, which is the service. But for a topic, we utilize something called SNS which stand for simple notification service. So if an us, you can see this is the icon for the SNS. And if I type here SQS, we can see this is the icon for SQS. So even the icons are uh, showing what they have. So here we can see we have one single message coming through, which broadcasted to different ones. And here we can see from one to one. So we can see here how SNS and SQS works together and how queues and topic work together in order for me to facilitate this level of broadcasting of the messages so now that i have understood this and now i can see how they work let us see how this will actually be implemented so if i go back to my code editor let's go to rider and here this is the message this is the application that we have worked on last time if you have not watched it again i'll make sure to put it in the comments down below where we have basically a service and this service is going uh, called a queue service and all it does is basically is send a message to the queue from one point to another so what we want to do right now is we want to update this functionality here to basically not send directly to a queue, but send it to a topic and then from there we'll be able to consume it before we do any types of code here i want to go to my web browser and uh, before we do anything here i want to go to my web browser and create the topic and the queue so i am now inside my aws homepage. So I'm just going to go to simple notification service. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a simple topic. I'm going to call it my F1 topic. I'm going to click on next. And then here it gives me different configuration items for my topic. I'm just going to keep it a standard. And we can see here that we can integrate with SQS, with a Lambda, HTTP, SMS, email, mobile endpoint, whatever it is. So we can see there's a lot of flexibility around the topic. Encryption and everything else will leave as is. I'm going to click on create topic. So now my topic has been created, which means that this aspect of my application has now been created. So let me put a check. And this means that this topic has been created right now. And now what I want to do is I'm going to create a new queue, which is going to be listening to this topic. So again, I'm going to go back to my homepage and I'm going to put SQS with simple queuing service. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a new queue. And this new queue, I'm going to define it a name. I'm going to call it my driver queue. And then once I have my driver queue here, I'm going to leave the encryption on, basically all of the different settings on. And I'm going to click on create a queue. So now that I have created a queue, which is this one here, now what I want to do is I want to create a subscription between the queue and the topic, which is the connection that has to go between them. And the way I do that in the uh, terminal or basic sorry in the graphical user interface is very simple so we can see here as soon as i go to the queue i have subscribed to amazon sns topic and when i click on the drop down i can see my topic now exists here so i'm just going to choose my f1 topic click on save and now we can see it has subscribed to it so it means that every single message that comes to sns it will go to sqr so now my connection between the two has been set successfully perfect so now i have this and this and this set up so now all i need to do is basically let my application communicate with this topic and then have an application to listen to it and this could be pretty straightforward so now let's go back to rider and the first thing that i need to do is I'm going to install a new package. So right now, if I take a look at my packages, we can see here I'm using the SQS package. Now I want to utilize the SNS package. So let's see how we can do that. So we're going to put .NET add package AWS dot simple notification service. And we're going to click on actually this will not work because we need to go into the directory. So I'm going to go to Formula One and now I can actually install the package. So let's try this again. And now the package has been downloaded and installed successfully. And now, as you can see here, it's showing now I'm relying on AWS SDK for simple notification service, which is exactly what I want. Great. So now that I have done that, the next item, I'm going to go to services and I'm going to create a new interface. 
and I'm gonna call it a notification service. And as well, I'm gonna dial in and I'm gonna create a new class called notification service. And this notification service will basically implement the I notification service. Perfect. And the only, let's go here to the interface and the only method that I have, it's gonna be a task called send notification and it's gonna take a message to send. And now inside my notification service, I need to implement this. So let's see the implementation. And now basically this is what I need to implement. So first of all, before I do any implementation, I need to actually have an instance of SNS running. So how can I do that? We're gonna utilize the constructor initialization. So I'm gonna put private in only uh, Amazon simple notification service. I'm gonna call it SNS service. And we're gonna initialize this through the constructor. Perfect. So now that I have an SNS service that I can utilize, now I can build my notification service. The notification service is gonna be very simple. So we're gonna first specify a publish request. And within this publish request, what I have here is I have the message that I wanna send, which is available for me from here. And I'm specifying the topic IRN. And if I wanna get my topic IRN, I can go back to my web browser here and go to SNS. And if I click here on topics, I should see my F1 topic here. I can find the IRN for it. So I can just copy it and then I can put it here inside my code. So now this is gonna be my ARN that I'm gonna be using. So once I've specified the message as well as the topic that I wanna send to, I need now utilize my SNS service to publish this message, as simple as that. So we can see here that within a few lines of code, I was able to create a request and then I was able to publish it to the topic itself. Very simple. So now that I have created this here, the next step, I wanna go to program.cs and after my queuing service, I'm just gonna add it here. So I'm gonna say I is gonna utilize the notification service. Perfect. So the next step is we need to actually now initialize SNS inside our application. Let's see how we can do that. So on top here, where I have my SQS client initialized, I'm just gonna copy this and I'm gonna change first of all here to SNS client. And then instead of having Amazon SQS client, I'm gonna have Amazon simple notification service client. And that should be the same. It will take a basic AWS credential as well as the region. The next step, I wanna add this client into my DI container. So I'm gonna put builder.services dot add singleton dot add dot i amazon simple notification service and the sns client and this should be basically it where basically what i have here is i have added the service which allows me to send a notification on the topic as well as i was able to inject it so the next item that i want to do is now that i have updated this step here where i actually updated my api to send a message on the topic now i want to update my application in order for it to be able to listen to this queue so if we go back here and if you take a look at subscription we can see that this is the topic or basically this is the subscription that currently exists for my queue so i'm gonna go to sqs again i'm gonna check the queue url and if i come here and click my driver queue we can see this is the queue that's gonna be receiving the message so i'm gonna go back to rider and what I'm gonna do here inside my FIA application, which is responsible for listening, I'm just gonna update this queue to the new queue that I have. And if you're wondering how this works, please watch my previous video. I have delved into this, into a lot of details, how we can actually create it, etc., etc. So now that I have updated this application here, I'm gonna run it. Okay, perfect, it's running now. Okay, perfect, it's running. And now I'm gonna go back to my application here and I'm gonna run it as well. Now let's open it up in, uh, inside our web browser. So as we can see, it runs on port 5000. So I'm gonna go to my web browser and I'm gonna add it here. And now whenever I'm adding a driver, so before we do that, if we take a look right now at my queue, we can see it's running, send and receive, pulling messages, there's nothing here inside my messages. So I'm gonna come here inside my driver and I'm gonna create a new driver and I'm gonna call this Lebanon. I'm gonna call the last name Beirut and I'm gonna put 47. Or actually, I'm gonna put, yeah, 47, 43. And I'm gonna click on execute. And now basically we got an error. So let's see what is the error. And you can see here the error due to the queuing. So we need to update the controller, which I forgot to do. So this is when you think everything is done. So I'm gonna go back to my controllers here and I'm gonna update this. So first of all, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be adding my notification service. Let's stop this here. 
I'm gonna add my notification service, I notification service. We're gonna call it underscore notification. And I'm gonna initialize this through the constructor, perfect. And in the add driver, instead of relying on the queuing mechanism, all I'm gonna do is put await underscore notification dot send notification. I'm gonna say driver added, and I'm gonna take the same information as we have done before and just add it here. So it's gonna be simply as simple as this. And apologies, I forgot to add it. Perfect. So now if I run this again and we go back to my web browser, click on execute again, we can see we got the information available for me. If I come here and click on poll messages as well, while this is happening, I can go to SNS as well. Topics, my F1 topic, I spell a message again. And if I go to my rider, we can see here the message has been received and we can see the driver, uh, how driver has been added to Lebanon by root. Maybe here we did not, we missed it because it was so fast. So let's try this again. Now I'm gonna add Beirut, Lebanon. I'm gonna add the number 10,452. Click on execute. And now if I go back to my code editor, to my, to my rider, you, as you can see here, Lebanon has been added again. So I'm just gonna add Lebanon, Beirut, and I'm gonna add here strong and i'm gonna click on execute come back here and now we should be able to see a message popping in and as we can see driver added lebanon beirut strong has showed up so this means that my entire flow is currently now working from sending it to receiving it everything is working as it should be so now we can actually take this off and now basically i have my web api sending the messages to my topic, a queue receiving this message and then an application receiving this message and uh, processing it. Perfect. So this has been a very quick introduction about topics, queues, and how it can be utilized inside our web application. We can see that this is a very powerful tool in order for us to build our microservices inside our JS solution. And basically we can see how we can build a very strong foundation for asynchronous communication inside our microservices. If you'd like to have access to the source code, please make sure you support me on Patreon or become a channel member. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. It would really help the channel as well. If you have any questions, please make sure you put them in the comments down below. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.